In your election 2024 coverage, new numbers from a Fox 45 News poll, Baltimore Sun, University of Baltimore poll. They show the mayor, mayoral Democratic primary race is within a margin of error, a slim one. And with only one month away until election, Fox 45 News' Mackenzie Frost is breaking down that data. Election Day is just four weeks away. Thousands of voters in Baltimore City already have their ballots in their hands, and soon they will decide who they want to lead the city for the next four years. Mayor Brandon Scott, Sheila Dixon, Thiru Vignaraja, and Bob Wallace are all polling in the top four, according to the latest numbers from this Fox 45 News Baltimore Sun University of Baltimore poll. Pollster Steve Robbie, owner of Opinion Works. So we see the mayor's race as being quite close. With a 4.3% margin of error, Mayor Brandon Scott pulling 38% of the Democratic primary vote. Challenger and former Mayor Sheila Dixon right behind the incumbent at 35%. Vignaraja has 10% of the vote and Wallace has four. Robbie says Vignaraja and Dixon appear to be gathering support from some of the same voters. Those people that are really dissatisfied with things are being split. If one of those two candidates was in the race instead of two of them, this could be a different picture. But, you know, with both of them in the race, Brandon Scott right now is just kind of moving through that gap and he's he's got enough support. What should these candidates be looking at as their strategy to kind of get out the vote if turnout really will be the defining factor? I think Brandon Scott is going to tell voters or might tell voters, we're getting things on the right track. Give me a little bit more time. We need more time to make this work. And that clearly is a message that's going to resonate with many voters. That's not a winning message with a majority, but in a, in a multi-candidate field, People are giving him the benefit of the doubt for working hard, trying, moving things in a better direction. And so Sheila Dixon would probably be tempted to hammer on everything that's wrong, you know, and I think you would want to kind of solidify the, the people who are not feeling good about the direction, who don't feel like leadership is up to the task, who, you know, are still very concerned about crime. And so there's definitely a strategy for both of them. Uh, Vignaraja just doesn't have a path. Diving deeper into the data, more than half of voters between 35 and 49 indicate they support Mayor Scott. But older Baltimore City voters lean more toward Dixon. The racial divide is clear. The poll shows Mayor Scott has 57% of white voters in the city, while 44% of African American voters stand with Dixon. Both Scott and Dixon have firm support among their bases. 71% of voters say they are firmly behind Mayor Scott, while 66% of voters say they strongly plan to vote for Dixon. It's a rerun. I mean, the major candidates are the same. And so the question is, what's the turnout going to be? John Willis, former Maryland Secretary of State and current professor at the University of Baltimore, argues turnout could be a deciding factor in the primary. And with four weeks to go, Willis says the candidates have the resources to blitz. The poll conducted April 7th through the 11th, starting one day before dueling endorsements. U.S. Senators Chris Van Hollen and Ben Cardin backing Mayor Scott. I think Brandon Scott has taken control of our city in the way that we need to for our future. Well, City State's Attorney Ivan Bates backing Dixon. The one person who stood out for me time and time again was Mayor Dixon. Willis says it's unclear how much influence those endorsements will have on undecided voters. Endorsements are important yeah. and they add to a perception of success and support, sure. but to what extent do they actually do anything? With 33% of voters in the city saying they could change their mind before casting their ballot, Robbie and Willis agree. The next mayor of Baltimore City will likely come down to who shows up to the polls. In Baltimore, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News.